Hello YouTube hunters, Brad Goodspeed here. See what that sign says? See what these are? And guess what? I don't have the damn storage space for them. I mean if it was closer to Halloween I would take them and put them in my backyard and then you know but this is what bugs me. You find stuff early in the year and I know if I keep these on my back deck for six months my wife will leave me as patient and loving a human being as she is. But these are the temptations you get at Kirby's all the time as a haunter. What a tease. What a tease. Okay, I just got back from um, Princess Auto, which is a uh, automotive slash surplus slash hardware kind of store. And I found this great um, spatula set for $4.99. If anyone who's into sculpture knows that if you go to an actual sculpture store or an art store and look for these tools, you can get uh, pretty pricey. But for $4.99, I thought that was a pretty damn uh, good deal. Another tool I made, which is right over here, uh, based on a a uh, tutorial by Stuart Bray. If not, if you, if any of you are into sculpting and don't follow Stuart Bray, you totally, totally should. Um, this is, I'll just give you a quick demonstration. This is a um, Monster Maker's clay, uh, oil-based clay. This is what I use. It's harder to clean out of molds than um, water-based clay, but I really, I'm being, a, I'm a bit of a perfectionist and I like to work away at things and get them just the way I want them. And uh, water-based clay dries out quickly. Oil-based clay does not dry out. So anyways, I just made this tool out of um, some modeling wire that you get from, you know, a model railroading store. Uh, Stuart Bray's tutorial, he actually uses piano wire. That is that these uh, bristles, uh, these wires, um, don't ver make very much impact on the clay because they're flexible. And what you use this for, this is actually a finishing stage of, of uh, sculpture, is that these wires are so flexible and so, uh, and, and and dig so shallowly into the clay that you use this technique to hide your tool marks. Uh, so as you can see, I had just done some very rough, rough sculpture there using the spatula. And now I'm um, basically just feathering over top of the, uh, of the sculpt. And um, by the time you've done this for a little while, it removes all the tool marks and leaves a little bit of texture on the clay. But then with you know your finger, you can just kind of smooth it down. And, this is not the best demonstration of it because I'm trying to do it with one hand and I'm, um, this isn't an actual sculpt. This is just a lump of clay sitting here. But everyone should check out Stuart Bray's um, YouTube channel if you're into sculpture or you're thinking about making masks. The reason I've got this stuff is that I'm gearing up to start uh, thinking about sculpting a new mask for 2013. Um, I don't know when I'll start or if I'll do a tutorial or not, but mask sculpture is some of my, is one of my favorite parts of haunting mask making, latex mask making, and it all starts with the sculpture. I have a huge box of tools over there and I don't have sculpture tools and I don't um, use most of them. Uh, there's only a few tools I use, but this is a technique I definitely wanted to try for smoothing out uh, tool marks on a sculpt. And um, again, watch that Stuart Bray tutorial, subscribe to him. He's a really, really talented uh, effects makeup person and sculptor. So. Uh, Check that out. Happy hunting.